कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे जीत के फैंस की गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जेलमैन वी गार टॉक अबाउट दिस वन अमीडियटली ओके देर इज अव डिजास्टर इन द जीत के कम्युनिटी एंड आई नेवर सीन एनीथिंग लाइक दिस गैस दी दी इंटायर कम्युनिटी वेन ऑल थ्रो पेसमिस्टिक ओके वो लाइक pessimistic to the walls okay it's like balls to the walls and you're probably like wondering what went down guys there's two video clips that I want to share with you guys so clench your butt cheeks for this one faster than your seat belts as well because a lot of people ever since this story has broke seconds are looking like this seconds have went into coma right now and you're probably left wondering you're probably even scratching your balls right now thinking to what went down like did rockstar introduce gta plus plus bruh did they introduce like a shark card 2.0 maybe like a 200 dollar shark card did they by any chance like nerf the lucia bernardo guys none of that it's wilder than johnny sins movies okay let me actually get right into this one here like the video if you just want a good game man dislike the video if you not if you don't want a good game i want to know where you guys at but check this so x rockstar devs says that gta 6 could be disappointing at launch oh, shit. Oh, shit. there we go man that's like number one and there's a video i also want to share with you but number two but wait there is more and there's way more than that and i will also give you a light of hope right after this one so you feel what i'm saying right because yeah I, i feel like that uh to me personally they're, they're like two outcomes there are there, there can be two outcomes from this one so the second story is that sag after a confirms that gta 6 will be affected by the strike now this might this news might be going on the top of your head uh, from the top of your head you're probably like hey man i don't care about it i don't know what that is therefore i don't care okay sick is gonna be seconds okay I don't care, don't care, don't care and don't care. Now, the reason why Sekiz are talking about it and the reason why Sekiz are saying that 2026 delay in coming is because of this. Now, Sag after is like the 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 actors crap right and they're going on a strike once again by the looks of it, okay? And if they go on a strike, this can affect like movies, uh video games. And essentially the reason that's been given here is that the the reason they want to go on a strike is because they don't want the AI overtake taking their jobs they essentially don't want to lose their gigs they don't want to lose their jobs uh, to ai i mean in fact nobody wants to lose their their job to ai right Pro you as well probably you watching this video you also don't want to lose it and there's a video that i also want to show you so stick around for that but apparently uh, and, and this is actually really really is crazy right because in the last video we also talked about Activision firing 1900 devs or more like Microsoft firing 1900 devs at Activision and then what did they do next they actually use AI to make skins in Call of Duty and sell it for $15, $20, $80, $100 Ooh. they are doing that and they have fired 1900 people so yeah the AI thing is going nuclear right now and they also are going on a strike now when this news first bro people went crazy sick as when bozo you got the homie Kyle out here dropping the pom pom shots out there guys don't just the pom pom man listen man i know that's a kryptonite to all the men all my all my uh, uh my my brother brotherings out there right like it's a kryptonite i get it though but after what's going on in the community with doctor disrespect with chris tyson creepy chris right like guys like stay away from it man don't just the pom pom control your dragons because we all know what happened with chris tyson okay you don't con uh, control your dragon if you don't if you cannot control your dragon the dragon is going to control you and ultimately you might even get rid of your dragon that's what happened with chris tyson but back to the topic at hand okay so when this story broke people were like goodbye 2025 okay yeah if you read the article it says it could happen just like it could not happen get your clicks though so we got also people not believing it which is good which is fair which is fair so chris not believing that but then the homie culture crave was like okay man union confirmed it is affected <laughs> The union confirms that GTA 6 is one of the affected games. Take to decline to comment. However, excuses to release it later. So six are already believing. Well, GTA 6 is now <laughs> releasing <laughs> in 2029. I've been kidding me right now. Now the I want to give you the light of hope real quick with this one. Now, if this is really true, yes, the game is getting getting delayed. Okay. Now I get it. That's not like the positive news. The 
positive news is this is that if this is to be believed uh what i mean by this is that uh rockstar take two they confirmed that the game is going to be coming out by the end of next year so fall 2025 which is now confirmed if that is to be believed because that's what they are saying right that's what these seconds are saying that the game is going to come out by the end of 2025 if that part is to be believed it's yeah right like they probably would have done the acting work the motion capture the the voiceover stuff already by now right and they're in the the process of just uh you know bug fixing the game uh putting the missions together yeah right so this news should not affect gtk6 at all but however if they are really really uh still requiring and they still need the actors uh they still need the motion capture work they still uh, are gonna be hiring voiceover artists uh, in the coming months from now then this can surely be a problem now the way the and you guys gotta understand that this game has been overdue for a decade okay this game should have come out five years ago ten years ago two years ago we always have been saying that this game is coming out next year next year next year next year right so this game is overdue so you would have to think that they probably now that we have the trailer and we also have the release time frame window confirmed you have you would have to think that all, they're way past like this crap they're just uh, uh making sure the game is finished and we heard this countless times that the game is like 70 percent finished 80 percent finished they're just polishing the game right and if that's to be believed i don't think it's gonna delay it though but also another thing is that even if this news is real or fake, well, a 2026 delay can still happen, actually. Bruh. But apparently, GTA 6 confirmed to be impacted by the strike, according to a senior reporter from Kotaku. <laughs> so, it was Kotaku all along, and right after this one, uh, people are like, Oh, man, I don't believe it, man. You're from Kotaku. I don't believe a single word from that company, nor any reporter. So make of that what you will. I'm just covering the news for you fellers. But let's be real. Real or fake, the game can still be delayed though. Now, apparently, an ex-Rockstar dev coming out and says that GTA 6 could be disappointing at launch. Guys, check this out. Roll it. Rather notable. But in some other GTA-related news, Wait we also it. had a former Rockstar developer talking about GTA 6 and how it may disappoint people. Obe Vermeige is a legend in the Grand Theft Auto world. He was a senior developer at the company for a very, very long time, only recently leaving. Now the developer right. has sat down for an hour-long interview with San and Play, during which he spoke at length about Grand Theft Auto 6, but his predictions aren't what some fans are looking for. And he said, I don't think it's going to be wildly different from from GTA 5. I think many people might be a little disappointed on the first day, but it's still going to be the best game out there. And I think that perspective is key because I think the hype, the anticipation surrounding Grand Theft Auto 6 is unprecedented. It is the most highly anticipated game of all time. Yeah. And with that said, I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed with maybe the restrictions, maybe the changes. To uh, but, but to be honest, though, like gamers are used to being disappointed, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, like we're all, yeah, how many times you guys got disappointed? Like the video if you're kind of used to it. So, Another game and gamers being disappointed? Come on in, as the homie 402 Thunder would say. To the formula, especially if it holds more of the Red Dead Redemption gameplay mechanics that oh, haven't really so been introduced to the GTA universe yet. So I do think there are certain aspects that people may not fall in love with. And uh, especially after Red Dead Redemption 2, there still has been a decent amount of people that felt disappointment with that game. So I do think some people have been waiting about over a decade for GTA 6. <laughs> there are going to be people that... Ah, oh, man. If this, if this game is disappointing at launch, I swear to God, bro. <laughs> Rockstar, you bozos better not do that, man. This game was overdue 10 years ago, man. Where is the game, man? Where is the game? And don't you dare nerfing the Lucia Bruno, okay? Don't you dare nerf that, okay? Like, this game better be good at launch, man. This game better give everybody BJ, bro. This game better hit Sickers in the G-spot. This game, Sickers should be paid to play this game, bro. What are we talking about here, man? Gamer deserve more, man. As a brown man, bro, I declare there should be a new law right now where gamers get paid to play, okay? Like, let me let me just give you 50, man. Like the video if you actually like that law, man. If I was the president, I would just make it so, like, gamers get paid to play the game okay i'm not talking about beta testing the game though we're technically like all like beta testing the game right but i'm saying like you you buy the game remove the buying part okay you get to play the game and you get paid for yeah. it you feel what i'm saying you feel what I'm saying? like the video if you want that but wait for this one i got another clip that i want to also show you 
just don't feel like it was enough. And uh, I can understand the sentiment. I can understand this opinion. I don't think this necessarily is a reflection on the overall quality. I do think GTA 6 is going to be a fantastic experience. Everything I've heard definitely sounds like it could and should be that. But I also realize that it might not fit the image that some have created in their own heads. Mm. But hey, right now we're waiting for the second. Oh, uh, to be honest, man, ever since I went to Miami, bro, like I've been like ultra hype for this game, bro. Like, yeah, man, like when I went to Miami like a month ago, right? Like, yeah, crazy, man. Like, I'm like way more excited about GTA 6. But guys, uh oh, check this rule. Hey, everyone here with some potentially. A shot Shout out to uh, Legacy Killer HD and now shout out to the homie GTM and I want to show you like uh, this clip here. Well, crap news, honestly, because there is yet another <laughs> strike going on from the S-A-G-A-F-T-R-A, -A, which is short for Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. They probably should have gone with a catchier name, but they are among the group of people that said, well, they don't like it that there's AI in their games, basically, mm. and in the entertainment as a whole. This obviously been something that's been a rampant. Yeah, Activision be like, hold my be our son we're gonna have fire devs uh but we're gonna use AI uh to generate art for free and but but, but we're still gonna charge people like uh, 15 dollars 20 dollars yeah right like yeah f yeah the thing over the last couple of year or two and obviously they've already done the strike for this and to protest against this back in 2023 which is why a lot of shows and games and stuff were delayed and cancelled etc etc however Crazy, they uh, have decided it was time that it was not enough just yet and they are doing yet another one starting tomorrow july 26th at 1201 a am pacific time anyone in the union cannot work on games until a deal is reached with a collective of the biggest video game publishers at this moment these companies include take two productions incorporated which is the parent company of rockstar activision disney ea insomnia games warner brothers games and more this means that there is a potential reason for slight panic but also not so much allow me to explain at this stage i would personally assume that gta 6 is in a stage where the majority of the motion capture voice work etc has yeah exactly what I was saying yeah yeah no I agree with this one right because the game is supposed to come out by the end of next year and how many times we heard that oh it's 70% done 80% done oh it's coming guys it's coming <laughs> it's coming it's always coming but it's, it's always coming but it's never coming we have been hearing this so yeah like by this time I suppose all of that should be done but again though we're talking GTA 6 and it's gonna be a big game and I suppose they're also working on the DLC plans right so in that aspect I'm sure they're still like needing voiceover and all that work for DLCs maybe even for the actual game as well but if they really need voiceover stuff if they still need like acting work they still need uh like motion capture work then this is definitely bad news though you know what I mean? If this is like really, really important and they really, really need uh, for for the final game, then this can somehow turn out to be actually bad and uh, can delay the game. But if they already have done like the, the, the main uh, story related stuff already in terms of like motion work and all that, we shouldn't worry about it too much though. Yeah, the DLCs that might require them to record voice lines, uh, do motion capture and all that, Perhaps the DLCs can delay, but uh, I wouldn't be uh, I, I, I wouldn't be shocked if the game gets delayed though. Whether it's this reason or something else, I wouldn't be shocked if a game gets if this game gets delayed to 2026. Let's be real. Do I want it? Absolutely not though. But uh, I wouldn't be shocked. But secondly. I also wouldn't be shocked if this is just like a nothing burger for GTA 6. I mean, we're hearing it's real news, but you feel what I'm saying, right? Like maybe it's not gonna affect GTA 6 too bad badly. Uh oh, YouTube lagging? I think it's gonna affect it though, that may. Let me actually refresh this there. So, minute 30, right? Let me uh, skip it to this part. Yeah, uh oh, here we go. Voice work, etc., has already been done. The game has been in development for several years, and well, given the fact that it's about a year or so away from the rumored internal fall 2025 release date, they're mostly doing publishing now, at least that is my personal assumption. Yeah, However, yeah, yeah. based on previous history, we do know that the actors from GTA 5 were still doing motion capture and voice work, sort of kind of pretty close to release. So this could mean potential delays. However, again, the CEO of Take Two, Strauss Zelnick, has made a statement in November of last year saying that with the actor strike going on, the GTA 6 itself 
was completely protected from this strike stuff. Obviously, this is PR talk and yeah. investors talk, but there could be potentially some things going on behind the scenes where they might be kind of slightly panicking because obviously a strike like this with a union like this oh, with big, Rockstar using big. these people within said union, I believe that Arthur Morgan's actor Roger Clark is part of that union, will undoubtedly potentially lead to some delays, possibly. We don't know. It is something that I figured it'd be worth bringing up because... Uh, let me know your thoughts uh, on the story, guys. And recently we had a ton of new leaks and new information about GTA 6 trailer 2, the GTA 6 gameplay that Lucia Bruna. Click on this video on the screen. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.